RMJ movie reviews back again with an on the fly movie review of the Avengers Infinity Wars. Well, uh, we just saw, in, uh, what's it called? Uh, Avengers Infinity War. It, it, it was great, y'all. It was, it was, it was, it was a great movie. I got a cameo appearance over here, y'all, by the unseen uh, movie reviewer uh, to my right. Uh, what did you think, unseen movie reviewer? Did you did you like the Avengers: Infinity Wars? It was awesome. I, she said it was awesome. See, so the movie was great. Um, Action packed all the way through. Uh, basically, you have to have seen all the other Marvel movies uh, to really understand the storylines of this one. Um, it's really more like a, a greatest hits of all the Marvel movies up to this point. You know, pr uh, obviously, uh, the Incredible Hulk, the Edward Norton movie, uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's little bits of elements of that, uh, incorporated through it, but really, uh, there's a lot of Age of Ultron, a little bit of Iron Man 3, Thor Ragnarok, uh, Doctor Strange, a lot of those previous Marvel movies that, that are incorporated here. Um, there's so many characters that sometimes it tends to get a little bit, they, 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 they kind of get a little bit shortchanged, uh, some characters, I'm not going to name who gets shortchanged and who doesn't. Um, there were certain points within the picture that I got a tad bit, uh, maybe a little bit lost because it is a long movie. I mean, we're talking about, this is the Godfather, uh, length of a movie. It's, it's very long, but I mean, the story, uh, needed to be this long. But uh, it was it was really a lot of fun. I enjoyed it all the way through. Of course, the standout of the movie is Thanos, which is played by Josh Brolin, who obviously was in Sicario. Uh, you know, for all of us old school movie fans, he was in The Goonies back in the day. But um, it's, it's a really rich villain, um, very layered, uh, really a lot of good character moments. Um, I haven't really liked a lot of the computer generated effects for his facial expressions. I mean, it's, it's crazy because he's all computer generated, but there'll be parts when you see uh, certain facial expressions or eyes or, or different things he does with his face. It really looks so real. I think they actually might've modeled it. I'm just guessing, don't quote me, but I think they might've modeled it after Josh Brolin's real face because he, he actually kind of looks like Josh Brolin. Even the, the mannerisms in the face are really, but it's actually a genuine performance. Um, it was great. And just to see all the Marvel characters together was, was really uh, a lot of fun. You know, me and my girlfriend went to go see it, and uh, there were certain parts where, like, I would, like, go berserk because I saw Spider-Man on screen. I'm that much of a child that I still get excited when I see Spider-Man, and she would kind of look at me like, what are you doing? You need to settle down. So I calmed myself after that, but um, it, it was really just a lot of fun, and uh, I mean, I, I give it the, the highest recommendation, uh, and there's actually some really good surprises in there, too. Now, if everybody's going to be thinking that um, all the Avengers and all the Marvel characters are going to are gonna get their moments, I mean, pretty much mostly people get their moments, but again, people get shortchanged. Um, there's just a lot to cram in here, and the story actually flows very well for as much as they had to put together. Um, if there's only weak point, it's like I said, it, there's a lot of shuffling back and forth between characters. And also, too, this kind of suffers a little bit from the, you think it's kind of like The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger, where it kind of like you thought that movie should have ended at one point and then the ferry boat sequence popped up and it just kind of kept going on and on. It kind of suffers from that a little bit of like kind of, okay, we're at the end, up, oh, then it starts again, up, oh, then it starts again, up. Oh, so there's almost like four or five different thirds at third acts like crammed into one i i can kind of feel i i, I can kind of feel people in the theater kind of starting to shift a little bit you, you people know like sometimes like when a movie goes on and on people start to shift and kind of like i'm ready to go but again still a fun movie all the performances are still rich uh everybody plays their character pretty much the same way they've played them throughout all the movies and it was a for the most part a pretty good balance of having all the Marvel's movie movies crammed together as one, and again it ends with uh, with an after credit uh, cliffhanger sequence. I'm not, I'm not gonna say what happens, but um, I would kind of maybe compare to to me in my opinion. I think this is the best Marvel movie. I know I said that about Spider Man Homecoming, but this time I really mean it. This is my favorite Marvel movie. Uh, I, I had a great time. Um, there's one more point I was gonna bring up. Um, 
I don't remember what that point is now. Oh, yeah, now I remember what my point is. Basically, this movie, Infinity Wars, would kind of be like, to me, obviously it's better than Age of Ultron, which that was good, but this is way better. Um, I would say this is almost kind of like The Empire Strikes Back. And anybody who knows The Empire Strikes Back knows that movie in and out. You, you'll kind of get what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, that's my review of The Avengers uh, Infinity War. Leave comments down below. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell. And um, I'm going to come back with spoilers later on. So come on, let's exchange comments about the viewers. Uh, uh, and, uh, what's, it, what's it called, the movie? Uh, Avengers Infinity War. RMJ Moore Reviews. I'll see you soon.